Hey everybody, it's Tony George, DocSports.com here on a Tuesday. You'll notice a different setting here. Little green screen studio being built here in the George compound here in Las Vegas during the COVID-19 uh, situation here as uh, we're going to be bringing you a series of shows, pod, uh, video podcasts with uh, various uh, people in the industry outside of the industry, um, handicappers from right here, DocSports.com, sit around and pout about the current situation, or you could put a positive step forward, start spreading around a little optimism about uh, short-term and long-term future of uh, Las Vegas, the sports gaming world in general. Um, there's some positive things coming out. Some not so positive things coming out. Uh, you really don't know, depending on which news network you want to watch, uh, what the narrative is uh, for that day and somewhere the truth lies in between. Um, that being said, um, I'll give you a brief breakdown of what we're going to be doing here. Uh, interesting article in USA Today about Major League Baseball that Doug Upstone from DocSports.com, of course, uh, has written an article and sent it to me. So what we're going to do here on Wednesday and come out later Wednesday for you is have a discussion with Doug Upstone about uh, a potential two, uh, two-headed two monster in a Major League Baseball starting sometime in May where some of the teams in Florida, some of the teams in Arizona, and what that potential those leagues would look like He's broken it all down. I'm sure the article will be up on DocSports.com here uh, very soon, but I read it. An interesting take and an interesting idea that I know that Major League Baseball is um, considering. So we're going to have a talk with Doug Upstone. And as I told you earlier, um, Doug is one of the sharpest guys in Major League Baseball that I know, and I've known him for, I don't know, 15 years. Um Goes to all the, he lives down in Phoenix, goes to all the spring training camps, goes to all the games that are down there in the Cactus League and what have you, and uh, very much in the know. Uh, and we're going to also talk about some of his observations he saw while spring training and the games were going on. If you didn't go over to his uh, YouTube page here for DocSports.com, um, he had a lot of uh, videos from the actual facilities live on spot. So this guy is, is going to be an interesting discussion. Also later this week, Steve Sear, uh, author of the book, Well Hunt in the Desert, um, and was on a, a short-lived little uh, thing we did called Doc Sports Happy Hour. He is the biggest and most famous casino host uh, in Las Vegas. We're going to have a discussion with Steve Sear uh, later this week uh, about uh, his thoughts on Vegas. And, you know, what the timeline he thinks is, you know, his thoughts on how it's going to recover, you know, what what to expect, you know. And, of course, all these discussions as it, they are every day on every subject pertaining to American society and life is purely speculation because we don't know what tomorrow holds. But we're going to have a very interesting discussion with Steve Sear. Then first of the week, NASCAR driver. Number 52 in your program, but number one in your heart, and my good friend, J.J. Yaley, going to uh, do a call-in video podcast with me, talk about the state of NASCAR, uh, what he sees on the horizon, what he sees for the rest of the season, um, this, that, and the other. Uh, we'll probably leave the Kyle Larson uh, situation alone. Y'all, if anybody that follows sports, Kyle Larson used a racial slur over the weekend on one of these iGaming races, and he was dropped from Ganassi Racing today. He's no longer a NASCAR driver and probably never will be again. Uh, that's the big news out of NASCAR. But, you know, nonetheless, we're going to have a discussion with J.J. Yaley, uh, Triple Crown champion, uh, talk a little bit about the Open Wheel Series he used to be in and dominate as one of the best dirt track drivers ever. Uh, his experiences running for A.J. Foyt in the Indianapolis 500. At the time, he was the youngest driver ever to start the Indianapolis 500. I think I think he finished ninth that year. And then uh, what's, what he's been doing in NASCAR and where he thinks it's going. So, and all these discussions, as, as all my videos are, are just going to be like 
listening to a couple guys having a cocktail, drinking a beer, taking a fist over a fence post, just, you know, shooting the breeze. And we're going to have some of the, uh, um, some of the uh, Doc Sports handicappers on as well uh, with some discussions. I know Scott Spreitzer is doing uh, some stuff here with the green screen, but uh, nonetheless, we're going to be bringing you some uh, information, entertainment, and some intriguing conversations to keep ourselves occupied, busy, to keep the mind working, keep the wheels turning, and gearing up for sports. You know, despite all the whirling cesspool of doom and despair that you watch on TV every day, there is some optimism, and people got to be ready. Also, next week, we're going to have the former chief operating officer, of Canner Gaming, CG Technology, and now Chief Executive Officer of U.S. Integrity, Matt Holt, uh, a regular on VEASAN as well. Uh, one of the biggest uh, insiders in the, you know, around in Las Vegas. And a friend of mine, going to have Matt come on and talk about the what he sees because he does game management and manages brand integrity with both college and pro sports pertaining to legalized sports wagering. So every, you know, so he manages that brand integrity for various conferences. He uh, does a lot of work with the NBA. Uh, I don't want to speak for him or out of school, but we're going to have Matt come on and, and discuss what he's heard and seen as well later next week with the future of sports and this upcoming summer and fall. And uh, again, a lot of speculation based on information from solid sources uh, from all my guests. So uh, be, anyway, just wanted to give you a heads up. Something to tune in and look forward to right here. DocSports.com. Green screen. Coming your way. Going to go a little fancy on you. No big deal. But uh, nonetheless, I think you'll enjoy it. And as we get ready to gear up for hopefully some semblance of maybe an NBA playoffs uh, type scenario in June. Maybe some Major League Baseball with no fans, obviously, uh, sometime in June. Um, what the future of NASCAR is going to be from an actual guy sitting in the driver's seat on an active Monster Cup race team. Doesn't get any better than that. Only found right here. DocSports.com. Be looking for my first show with Doug Upstone later on Wednesday.